Hello, welcome back to another video on SnowRunner. We're still in the uh, Almaty region and we're on not a roller coaster, which is um, delivering this container to the old slate quarry. And we've got to deliver this trailer and the plaid to the um, logistics center. Um, I did try on the last video you see I pulled the plaid down to where the bus depot was I did try on that as off I put a flatbed on it and I come up and I tried to put this container on the flatbed now I thought it was only a two I thought it was a two lot but the container must be bigger than a two it must be a three um, so it didn't fit so I had to load it back on this trailer and I brought up this dairy long haul. Um and hopefully this dairy long haul will be the thing that will get it all the way down into the quarry um, but we'll wait and see um, <laughs> that's not a good sign already in the mud hit a rock and it does injure so anyway um, we are now trying to get our way down to basically down to the petrol station in the down in the village at the end of the road where we dropped the uh, plaid going to get them all there going to fill everything up ready and now I'm going to run the trailer up to the top of the quarry then I'm going to tow the plaid up to the same because the logistics center is literally just up near where the quarry is the old slate quarry so um, there will be a lot of chopping and um, I think I do a little bit of a time lapse I don't know but I'll let you know so anyway enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you at the next junction where we come some sort of problem.
Right, I think this might be a sign of things to come. I brought the Azov down. I'm going to try and give this a uh, shunt from the back end. Probably shouldn't have done it as hard as that. I should have just sort of nudged it more like that. Now I only have one and not five in the end. Um, I think we might have to <coughs> jump in the dairy and then, well, we jump in the dairy, connect it to this Azov. And uh, yeah, that will push it as we try and drive out. So. Um, hopefully this will get us out, um, but this is not boding well. Yeah, that's a little bit better. It's not boding well for um, the quarry. <laughs> so we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what, what happens. Um, yeah, enjoy the video. It's, uh, um, yeah, it's going to be fun, this one.
Right, everything's at the top of the quarry. Um, the pledge just behind, I, I left it and I skipped through to the morning. Now we're going to head down into the quarry with the dairy in the trailer. Um, as I'm voicing over, I will let you know that um, I do cut a lot out of this. It takes me ages to get down there. This trailer gets caught on every single bump and rock and you just name it and it gets caught. So uh, I end up jumping to the bottom of the quarry. To show you that I actually make it, I do use a crocodile in the garage to come because I had so much engine damage I couldn't get up one of the rises so I had to come down and repair the engine. I leave it halfway up the quarry because on the way back up I'm going to have to nick the fuel out of it to get this up to the logistics centre because I almost run out of diesel. So I, I think I cut nearly an hour or just over an hour out of it coming down and going back up. So uh, yeah, there's, there's, that's why there's quite a lot of jump cuts. Sorry about that. Right, um, there you go, here's the crocodile, this is where I left it. Um, I'd stop, fuel up, or take what fuel is in the crocodile into this to get me up, because I'm like down to 39 litres. And that was after filling up at the petrol station, so I've driven from the petrol station all the way down into the quarry and back up to here, and I'd used over 350 litres, so I only had no, 92, so I've got 140 litres in this. Um, hopefully it'll get me, well it does get me up to the uh, logistics centre, but yeah I had to uh, send that crocodile out to get me up this rise, because coming the other way I had so much engine damage, it just wouldn't even pull up there, it was gone, I, I literally had sort of like 10% engine left, um, but as you can see, so every little rock, and I'm not going fast, but every little rock you go over, bang, engine damage, and then when I had the container on, it, was so, it must have been so heavy, it just got caught on everything. So I, I got out with, as you can see, a, a little bit more damage um, and down to 41. I was almost empty again. Uh, so we get the trailer delivered. That's that bit completed. Uh, I'm going to pull this out of the way and then we can jump back to the Azov and then we can pull the plaid in and hopefully get that done and find out what we've got to do next. Probably going to have to uh, fix the plaid. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll go from there. So. See you when we get the get the plaid up here.
as I expected um, we got to repair the truck plaid for it to be ours for us to be able to use it so um, I take the as off back I'm just jump cut to it I took as off back I got this um, service body on the back which has got just all service parts um, and oil and fuel so I can basically sort of plaid out it doesn't do the bodywork but it does all the mechanical parts so that it then becomes done and we complete the actual not a roller coaster task um, it has been a long I thought I thought getting the AAC was bad this one was yeah the Derry Longhorn not the truck for it if you've got something that's a little bit higher it's got a bit more traction a bit more oomph maybe a, a modded truck would help um, but I wanted to use something in game to see if I could do it um, I could have gone with a Kenny I had the Kenworth last time that did not too bad so I should perhaps I should try that but I thought well I'll use a Derry Longhorn it's a, it's a military off-roady type class one truck so I thought I'd try it anyway we're done plaid 450 is ours that's our reward plus the money and the stars so we're done um, we can get this back to the workshop um, I will probably cheat on this and everything that's here will just get recovered back to the garage because I've got three here and then I've got the crocodile down in the uh, um, quarry as well so and that'll be this job done and then the next one um, I think we're going to go running around look for all the upgrades so we can upgrade both these two new vehicles to their best potential of what's on this map I think there are a couple of other bits that are on other maps but that's that's it for um, we're just going to get the upgrades off this map I think there's like four left I've, I've picked up one or two messing around getting the watchtowers but yeah we will we'll look at getting those um, in the next video so till next time thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed it sorry for all the little jump cuts but it was a long one and uh, we'll see you again soon thank you for watching and goodbye